Y'all, my nose is too goddamn big for this blush across the face thing all the teenagers are doing. I'll look, girl. I look terrible, hold on a second. The Armenian heritage jumped out. Some looks are not for me and that is okay. Am I on the moon? I'm so far away. Perfect. You know what, I need rings. Hold on, I'm so sorry. I feel like now that I've hit 5,000 subscribers, it's time for me to become the lightning rod of drama that I was always meant to be. So I decided to expose all of you to one of my deepest flaws. And that is, I am such a sucker for a clever product name. A lot of people are suckers for packaging. I've fallen victim to that as well. But more often than not, the thing that really gets me to just like slither my Capital One journey card out of its little comfortable sleeve in my wallet and make a purchase is when something is named something that makes me go, oh for whatever reason. Sometimes it's a pun. Sometimes it's a word that I happen to like. It's always product names. There's stuff I keep around that I never wear because I look at the name and I'm like, <laughs> it tickles me. And it's so, so silly, but it's the way that I, it's the way that I live my life. It's who I am. So why don't we talk about it? I'm a very like verbal person. I'm a very word associated person. That's not a phrase. What I mean by that is I love words. I love words and like etymology or entomology. One of them is words, one of them is bugs. So this Google search is either about to prove my point or traumatize me. I hate bugs. The study of the origin of words and the way in which their meanings have changed throughout history. Yes, etymology is a, is a chief interest of mine. I've studied English, it's the language I was born speaking. I've studied Latin, I've studied French, I've studied Italian, and I've studied Spanish, and I spent about three hours duolingoing German once. So I feel like I'm basically a polyglot. And I love words. I keep a note in my notes app on my phone that I've been keeping up for the past five years of my life. This is a list of my favorite words. Every time I think of one, I add to it, and it's very long. Vestibule. I love words, and so product names really get me. The title is a little clickbaity because I didn't just buy these for the shade names, but it definitely influenced me purchasing these. And in the case of at least one of these, it's the reason I haven't decluttered it, even though I never use it. But I look at the name and I'm like, ooh. Why don't I start with those first? This is one of ColourPop's Lux lipsticks. It's in the shade Angel City. I love that. I love angels. I love ethereal, like celestial body related names. And I know that's just a reference to Los Angeles where ColourPop is based, but I just, Angel City, it makes me think of a city full of angels and not like, pretty angels, but like terrifying revelations, paradise lost angels that just look like wheels on fire full of eyes in the sky. It's so cool. It's lovely. It looks like it could be kind of a terracotta berry moment. It's not very flattering on my skin. It's a bit too light and the color of the lipstick contrasted with the brown in my skin brings out this sort of coral tone that doesn't really flatter me. So when I wear this, I have to wear it with a lip liner. But I'm often not the type of person that's going to bring out a lipstick and a lip liner to craft a look. I'd rather just smack it on and continue going. But I can't get, I'm looking at the name of this angel city. It's so cool. I, I'm... Weak. I'm a weak bitch. In a similar vein, this is ColourPop's Super Shock Shadow in the shade Helio Goodbye. I love that. I think of the god Helios. I think of heliocentrism, you know? I, I think of I, I think of Copernicus. I think of history. I love that word. And it's a fine, it's on our right color. It's fine. It's very orange bronze. Boop, boop, boop. Sometimes you have to make your own milk makeup sound effects. Focus on the holographic nail, please. Thank you. Like, it's pretty. She's pigmented and the shimmer is nice, but I, I don't, I don't wear it. But I love thinking of the freaking sun. It's great because it makes me think of history, mythology, and space, which are three of my favorite things. Oh God, speaking of mythology, that brings me into my next thing. This is ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Muse. Ooh, girl. This is one of the shades of lighter pink that I bought back in March when I was trying to dupe out the shades of the Urban Decay Back Talk palette that interested me because I didn't want to buy the palette. I love Muse. I think it's gorgeous and I wear it a lot. It's a win-win because the color is stunning and I love the formula of ColourPop Super Shock Shadows and it makes me think of the Muses. You know what, let me grab a prop. I'll be right back. I'm really animated today because I'm off like six antihistamines. <laughs> I love allergies. 
Oh my God. I literally have the page about Artemis bookmarked. What a mood. I don't know when the last time I opened this was, but I had to have been in high school. I have been reading this book and rereading it since I got it in the third grade. And I always loved this page about the nine muses. I had two favorites. I loved Talia, the muse of comedy. What a surprise. And Cleo, the muse of history. This is my girl, Talia. There's Cleo. And then, ooh, Urania, the muse of astronomy. And Calliope, the muse of epics. I always loved the name Calliope. Sis, I love muses. It's like my favorite thing. To, I, it's like one of my favorite parts of mythology is the muses. So having a shadow called muse is just like, fun for me. Let's round out the ColourPop products with the last one I keep because of its name. This is one of ColourPop's matte lippy sticks in the shade Daydream Matte X. Matte X is just the lot, the formula line, but on the bottom of it, it says all three together, Daydream Matte X, and I love that for a really silly reason. I just think it sounds like a code name, and it makes me feel like a secret agent. This isn't a bad one because I wear this fairly frequently and I love the color of it. Let me show you. Ooh, girl, that color. I just imagine myself like in a cat suit because I'm Daydream X, the secret agent. I'm. This is a great video for if you're a new subscriber and you're deciding if you want to stay subscribed to me because watching this boring nonsense where I'm just like, I love pretending. This is a great time to unsubscribe. If you do, I won't judge you. <laughs> Moving forward, it's not just the actual name of the shades. Sometimes an entire line's name is like, oh, that's great. And this is a perfect example of that. This is one of the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker glosses. The shade is Plums Up. That does the, nothing to do with anything. And I'm not gonna swatch it because I've actually customized this gloss. So it's nowhere near the color that it actually would be if you buy it. I love the name Sexy Mother Pucker. That's hilarious. This is one of the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea collection lipsticks. The shade is Miami Vice. The word vice is one of my favorite words. And I like just the rhythm of saying Miami Vice. This is another one that I wear pretty frequently. So it's not like taking up space unnecessarily. Ooh, sis, that is a sexy little color. I think it's a really apt shade name. Ooh. Next up is the product that actually inspired me to make this video. This is a vinyl lip gloss from NYX and the line is called Strictly Vinyl. I have to say it like that because it reminds me of Strictly Come Dancing. Strictly Vinyl. <laughs> So goofy, I love that. That's not all though, because this is a combination of line name and shade name. Let me swatch this for you. Let me really give you this. Ooh, she's thick. <laughs> Thick with pigmentation. Mm. That's beautiful. Like, girl, don't even front like that's not stunning. So here's why I love this so much. The name of this shade is Bad Girl. Bad Girl. Bad Girl. That's not the only reason why I love this though. NYX products have a French version of the name right next to the English one, as many makeup products do. The French translation of the name Bad Girl is given as Coquine. If you type Coquine into Google Translate, it gives you the English word hussy, which is on my phone list of favorite words. I love the word hussy. It's so fun. It makes me feel like, like, a, like, a, like a high society Southern mom scolding my daughter for sneaking around with the groundskeeper Adelaide. You are gonna give this family a bad name. You're out there at all hours of the night acting like a hussy. Now don't you walk away from me, young lady. You are acting like a hussy. You don't give your mother a case of the papers I'm feeling faint. Fetch me my smelling salts cause I know I'm gonna need them in just a second. You better get. I love it. <laughs> oh my God. And here's another step on Google Translate. And I don't know how accurate this is of French. One of the other translations of hussy back into French other than coquine is a word I've never even seen before. Gourgandine. Am I saying that right? Google Translate? Let me know. Gourgandine. Gourgandine. Sis! What a beautiful word. That sounds like a fruit, like a citrus fruit that you can't afford. It, like, it's a dessert option at like fancy five Michelin star restaurants and it's just like a single slice of it, but it costs $45. I don't know if it's like wildly offensive of me to say that a bunch of times on video. And if it is, like, I'm sorry, je regrette. That's such a great word. I love that. But like, that's, this is why I love this. It's also beautiful on the lips. I put it on, but I'm already wearing like three different liquid lipsticks. So <laughs> my last two liquid lipsticks, this is my new one. This is one of Wet n Wild's liquid cat suits, which is a formula of liquid lipsticks that I am on record as saying I hate, but this is goofy. This is the goofiest thing I've ever done. An extremely goofy move of 
mine. I bought this because of the name. And this is one of the only products that I truly bought because of the name. And it's like, if this was an expensive like lipstick, I wouldn't have done that. But these are like $4.99. And I was already in CVS making all types of bad choices. So I was like, you know what? Fine. <laughs> God already has turned his light off of me. I mean, the color is beautiful, but the shade name? This is part of Wet n Wild's Halloween releases. The shade name is Hexcellent. How am I supposed to leave that in the display? How am I supposed to go home at night, lie in bed, kiss my cats goodnight, and be satisfied with the knowledge that I didn't purchase a liquid lipstick named Hexcellent. Oh, I mean, aside from that, it's a lovely color. It's, it's really quite nice. I can learn to like this formula of liquid lipsticks, you know? For a color like this, please, says. Doesn't that sound like something that like a cartoon antagonist witch would say like when her underling is like, Madam, we've captured the Power Ranger. She'd be like, <laughs> Excellent. Am I alone? Am I wrong? Am I mistaken? Is that not some Rita Repulsa type of vocabulary? Ah, like don't even talk to me. <laughs> this is the stupidest video I've ever made. God, please smash that unsubscribe button. Please absolutely eviscerate that dislike button. This is the Makeup Monsters slash Menagerie Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade Heavy Artillery. This is the shade that my good sis, and dare I say, friend, Abby Williamson also has. I would say check out her channel, but she has so much clout, you're probably already subscribed. <laughs> this is like easily the coolest liquid lipstick your girl owns. Oh wee What kind of rock quarry mood? This is a great lipstick for when I'm really feeling my Onyx Geodude rock type gym leader Brock type of feels. I didn't buy this because of the name. I bought it because I wanted a cool color. But for some reason, I've always loved saying the phrase heavy artillery. Heavy artillery. It's just fun to say. That's all I gotta say about that. So having a cool color with a great name is a bonus. The bonus Jonas, you feel me? Let me not bring myself down the down the void of talking about the Jonas Brothers. I do not want to fugue state my way back into 2008. Nope, moving on. This is a highlighter that I've talked about a couple of times on my channel because it's one of my absolute favorites. This is the NYX Duochromatic Highlighter in the shade Synthetica. This is easily the sexiest highlighter I own. Oh girl, in the light, these like clementine peachy tones. Here's the reason I really love it. The name Synthetica, aside from being really fun to say, come with me on this journey. I don't know how old you guys were in like 2002, 2003. I personally was like eight. Now that I'm an adult and I can look back on different eras, I wish that I had been old enough back in the early 2000s to go to like a true, true early 2000s rave where like your one friend who maybe has a cell phone gets like called and told about the location or like raves with flyers or not even just a rape. Just like I can imagine myself in full like 2002 apparel, like maybe this exact hairstyle, you know, with the little tiny buns, something super frosty on my eyes, a really dark gloss that's getting everywhere on my face, but I don't even care. Body glitter all out on my arms, clavicle, maybe a choker, some sort of like PVC vinyl, like crop top type of situation. Fishnets and like a chunky, like patent leather, like pleaser boot. So much body glitter, body glitter on every inch of visible skin. And we're just like getting ready to go out. And I'm like, where are we going tonight? And my friend who's in like the same outfit, my friend is like, oh, there's this new club that opened up called Club Synthetica. You can see that, right? Like you can picture that in like cursive neon letters or like really like block font. Synthetica. That's where this takes me. I can like picture myself in the bathroom of this imaginary club fixing my hair as Love at First Sight by Kylie Minogue is like pulsating through the speakers. I really took myself on an imaginary journey. Oh my God, girl. This is why I can't be trusted with makeup because I do stuff like this. I'm literally sitting at my vanity like, Imagining. Why am I like this? Good Lord. Okay, this next one is not, this is cheating. This is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Duo in the shades Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. We've talked about her before, I love this. But this is not a product about because of the shade name. There's another product in this line, another Kilowatt highlighter that I really, really want to buy for an absurd reason. You know what the reason is, that's this whole video. The other Kilowatt Duo in the Mean Money Hustla Baby color. I know I would never use it, but the reason I want it so bad is because of Hustler Baby. Because then, then what I could do is if I ever use it in a tutorial, and you know I would so I could do this, I would open up my little octagonal compact. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
octagonal compact and be like, okay guys, now I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild P75 highlighting brush and I'm gonna dip into Hustler Baby and put that all over my cheekbones. I would do that in every video. You know what, it's probably good that I don't have it then because I would do that in every video. But I'm not gonna get it, but I want to. Those are all my things. I'm like just in a word coma. I love words, I love speaking, I love writing, and I love all of these words. It just makes me happy. It's just like a weird little bonus thing that makes me happy. And also, sometimes shade names go a little south. There's a certain brand that I will decline to name that keeps vigilant determination on creating problematic shade names for their lip products. <laughs> Mm, that's it for my quirky little video. I hope you enjoyed it, but before you leave, I'm gonna need you to do a quick little favor for me. If you could go ahead and have an amazing day, that would be, um, idyllic. No, transcendental. Thanks again for watching, bye.